hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new first of all i just washed my locks um not today i washed it like two days ago and i know i've had a couple of people ask um what do i do for maintenance outside of or in between interlocking and um it's actually really really simple what i do oh and yes if y'all haven't noticed i switched my tongue piercing to a 16 gauge because the 14 gauge was like way too big and it felt like a weight on my tongue like it felt like it was weighing my tongue down and your tongue is like such a free-flowing muscle yeah the 16 gauge just feels so much so much more comfortable so anyway back to the video so okay i just sprayed my locks before this imagine they are damp um they're not damp now but uh again I washed them like two days ago so they're not damp anymore. I was actually going to record this video as soon as I washed it to show you guys how I do it but um, I had somewhere to go and I didn't have time but the same thing applies so I'm just going to show y'all now. So basically all I do is, um, let's see, so I don't have an elastic but imagine, okay, my hair is like tied away. And I'll just start from the back. So there's not that many frizzy hairs now up at the root. Usually that's where it happens is at the root because even though it's interlocked, it's not like locked locked on its own. It's just interlocked. So what I'll do is I'll just take out whatever hairs. Usually I don't even have to pull it out because they just come out on their own after I wash it. And whatever loose hairs they are, I just wrap it around. Hopefully y'all can see that, but I just do that. And I don't have to do it all the way down the lock because the loose hairs aren't don't go all the way down, but I usually just do it up at the roots where obviously it's not locked, like locked locked, you know? And I just do that. <laughs> I feel like this video is going to be a little underwhelming, but I just take the next one. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I just took the next one and I'm just doing the same exact thing. Wrapping it around and then giving it a palm roll where it needs it. And I don't palm roll all the way down. I mean, you can if you want to, but I don't have to, so I don't. And just keep doing it. And I'll just go row by row doing that to each lock. So, you just do it until, you know, you know, you feel that you don't need to anymore. And that's pretty much it. So I'll do that for my whole head. Let me do it for once in the front, just so you guys could see um, up close. So like here, might as well just do the top. And I've mentioned this before, my top locks or the locks at the top of my head tend to get the frizziest. So all of my frizz happens um, for the most part in here and like right back here, like right in the center. Don't know why, but I know on the top my hair is looser, like my texture is a little bit looser. I mean, not that y'all can tell because it's all locked, but obviously I know my hair. So um, they just grow away. But anyway, this one's usually good, but these at my temples, I don't know why, but those are the ones that always um, get the most loose hairs. So I'll just kind of go like this now i should say this when i'm interlocking i'll take like a rat tooth comb and i'll like clean the parts up but when i'm not doing that like when i'm not interlocking as i said in between interlockings um i just i just separate it i just separate it with my hands and you know let the parts fall kind of as they may i may go a little you know kind of like that but I don't go crazy not not between interlockings no let me show y'all so my microphone is right here i'm using my phone so y'all see hold on i'm gonna show y'all you see all of this all of that loose hair that comes away from the lock i don't know why it does but it does like just on these two or four like this one this one um this one and that one but you know it is what it is so again kind of clean it up a little bit um and then i'll just take 
all of the frizzies and wrap them around. And I'll do that for four. Maybe about an inch or two down. And that's pretty much... I should have used the elastic band. But anyway. Yeah, and y'all see that? And that's pretty much what I do. I'll do that for the rest of my head. <laughs> so for my whole head. And... Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, they come loose after like a day or so. Not completely loose, but they'll frizz back up a little bit after a couple of days. Especially for me because I tend to um, spray my hair every day and I massage it every day. I'm not really big on, or I don't care so much, I should say, about keeping the frizz down. About a year or so ago, I made a whole video on keeping frizz on your locks. So, um, yeah, clearly I'm not the one to care about that. <laughs> but I do want to contain the frizzy roots, at least somewhat, you know. And so I will do that. Um, I'll do that. And it'll generally look like, um, like that one all over <laughs> so for the most part um i did that to a few of them in the crown already but as y'all can see the frizz has still kind of somewhat come back but it's not nearly as much as when i first washed it which again i wish i would have showed y'all when i did wash it a couple of days ago but again had somewhere to go so anyway but this is a good you know um idea of how it usually looks after a couple of days after i've done that but that's what i do i mean it's i wish i had more to tell y'all but <laughs> that's pretty much all i do so after a couple of days when it does kind of frizz back up again it's not it never frizzes all the way up like how it is after i wash it obviously because when you're washing it you're you know rigorous and you really getting in there you know so it's it's never like that but it does poof up a little bit more and if it does like if i do notice that some of the hairs are really not being incorporated into the lock i'll just again do the same thing just kind of grab them like with my fingers i can feel like the surrounding hairs that are supposed to be in it um again because i started this set of locks or I started all of my sets of locks myself. So I know exactly where everything should be. And I just grab it up and do one of these. Again, nothing crazy. And it just kind of adds or wraps them in just, you know, just a little bit keep a, some some kind of order and that's it honestly i don't like when there's absolutely no frizz i just again kind of like to keep generally the loose hairs that don't grow into the lock into the lock trying to maintain some kind of order but usually what i'll do is after i say i've done it to the perimeter locks i usually do this Y'all see I just kind of scruff it up a little bit. Hence why I don't really do my edges that much anymore. Um, maybe once in a blue, but generally this is what y'all get. Like if y'all want to see me day to day, this is me. That's it. Um, if y'all have any questions or concerns or just want to talk, I can leave them in the comments. Subscribe if you like this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.